Hey, what's up, YouTubers? I got a, uh, I've got a lot of things I've done to this little rifle here. It's gonna suck because I'm doing it on my phone. You know, hit that autofocus. A lot of little random things. You know, I put a bunch of little crazy stuff in it. But the uh, main thing that keeps bothering me is that standard flash hider. I know they do very well, but you know, to be tactical and all, you want to have your own uh, your own little twist on it. So I want to get rid of that one, and I've got a few Phase Five parts into my rifle already. Uh, let's see, what did I put in here? I put this the EBR on here. Very, very phenomenal. I like it so much better than the Magpul, although it is a solid. If I can't get this son of a bitch to adjust. You know, it's a solid piece. It actually, you remove the pin and replace the whole bolt catch. And then I have the Revo sling from Phase 5, which is very, very nice. It uh, seems to work very well. It's got a special castle nut that allows this big, thick hunk of metal to sit on there. But the Fat Man hex brake, I looked at the little boy, I looked at a few different hex brakes, and I wanted a Surefire Warden, something was going to be small enough for this short barrel fucker here. But to get the Surefire Warden, you were looking at, you know, $170, and to have the Warden on your weapon, you would need a uh, some kind of an adapter. It may hook up to the the standard threads here on this I haven't I haven't looked but you'd have to buy a surefire some kind of brake that would accept a suppressor that's an awful lot of money so you're looking at almost four hundred dollars by the time it's all said and done so I went with this here it's gonna be the fat man hex brake in five five six you gotta bear with me I only got two hands show So far, it's been a phenomenal co company. I, uh, when I got the Revo Sling, I actually bought it off eBay or something pretty cheap because at the time they were a hundred dollars or seventy dollars, and uh, I bought it. I bought it pretty cheap off eBay. Well, when I bought it from the gentleman, it didn't come with a castle nut. So I thought, oh man, you know, I'll try it with mine. Well, having this, I got a CAC industry stock and uh you know shockwave blade and then their tube on here there's not enough threads for a original castle nut to actually set here i don't i get horrible lighting but you see there's no more no more thread on this i don't adjust fuck stick there we go but this is thicker than normal so you needed this funny design castle nut what it is is you, your standard nut you can't get backed all the way up to allow you to spin the tube in to hold the detent down for the buffer tube spring for the yeah the buffer and uh i called up phase five weapon systems and you know i got to ask him about it and i said look you know i i really kind of feel stupid because i didn't buy this from you guys but i i can't seem to make this work do y'all have a castle nut that that i could i could buy or did it come with a special castle nut? That's when the gentleman told me that it did. And uh, he was like, no need to feel stupid, man. 100% lifetime warranty. No questions asked. It don't matter where you got it at, who you bought it from. Uh, I'll send you a new one. And didn't all he asked me for was my address. I didn't pay for shipping. None of that. They sent me a bunch of little extras I was pretty excited about. Sent me some stickers and things of that nature. I know it's probably weird not seeing me and hearing me talk, but kind of early i just woke up and yeah hell yeah anyway they sent me some stickers and stuff like that and super fast shipping it coming like two days so i had this thing on my rifle in no time and i figured hell with it i'll give this this fat man hex break a try you know three parts from them uh other than that i guess the magpul well no i did away with a bunch of magpul stuff i only got two magpul items now i had their sights but their sights were garbage and magpul knows of that 
couldn't get them to flip up and uh, having a lot of issues with them. So now I went with the Troy Industries uh, micro battle sites. Rather pleased with them too. They're not a, uh, they're not some people's favorites due to some of the gun. So I said there's been some gun issues. They hired a guy that was a little, anyway. Uh, I like them. They do a good job. But this Fat Man Hex Brake is, uh, it comes with a crust washer. And down, I'll get you some bits apart. Two seconds. This, what, what made this so neat is it's going to actually set up inside my rail, which is what I wanted. I didn't really want to compromise for the size. You know, building this pistol or whatever you want to call this thing. I keep calling it a rifle, but I wanted something that's going to be a little bit shorter. So this is actually going to seat over the barrel. The, the threads are right in here where the five is to the end. So this piece is going to seat over the barrel which when you screw it in, it's going to be like that. So it's, it's actually going to be shorter than what the standard bird hider is for the bird cage here. So we'll, we'll have to put her on there. I'll have to take it apart, pull the rail off of it. Uh, take me a little bit of time to do that here. Take the rail off and get this thing on. That's going to be the only drawback is having to take the rail off. Hey, you do it once and then you'll be done. I'll try to link the two videos together. Once I get it done, we can see what it see what she looks like. I'm uh very, very fine so far of, of what I'm seeing. I'm hoping it's gonna look okay, and I'm hoping the blast and concussion off this damn thing is not gonna be too bad. But from what I'd seen, nobody nobody really had any issues with it. It's supposed to have really good uh recoil. I, I can I can deal with the uh the sound. You know, earplugs and, and muffs will be okay from there. I just didn't want to really bother a lot of shooters beside me. That's why I was thinking about going with a warden or something of that nature. But, ah, this is my my car gun. So, if I ever had to shoot it, I don't give a shit if I go deaf. You know, you're not you're not ever going to have to grab it to go for... Get your ear in plugs, all that shit in. But, yeah, I'm a, I'll put this thing together and then show another... Uh, Another video of it on there. We'll see if I can't link these two together on YouTube. Alrighty, that's it for now. Let's get after it. Alright, try to get some good lighting here. I uh, finally got this devil on there and got her straight. So, let's see, uh, set down inside that rail pretty decent light. Goes down in there a pretty good distance. Damn camera won't ever focus. So far, I really like it. The uh, the two chambers we're gonna get it out at the gun range and see how it how it operates. Sticks out a little bit further than what I would have wanted, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, the original crush washer that they sent with it, you can see where the barrel's sitting in there. The original crush washer. There was still like, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch or so that I couldn't get this to turn. With the that crust washer just so thick. Uh, I couldn't get it to seat flat like that. This one still probably has got another full turn that I can go, but I didn't want it all the way out to the end. I didn't want to get it to where I couldn't get the, the flash powder on there. But got some optics and stuff coming for it and then like i said trying to be all tactical and shit and i'll put this this uh strike industries piece on there it's a pretty good dust cover it is quick connect and there's honestly no need for the quick connect function uh, i don't understand other than easy installation but the dust cover itself, having this seal, is pretty neat. <clears throat> so I wanted to get something different because it also has an adjustable uh, detent right here. Well, on my upper, the other dust cover that I had would just pop right open. You know, you could just touch the rifle itself and it would it would pop open. I didn't like the idea of that. You just bump the rifle and bam, it it pop out of there. But so far, no no complaints. 
kind of looks pretty neat but like i said the phase five you can't really go wrong with phase five they make some really good stuff got the uh the extended the ebr on there i kind of like it still allows me to have access to that trigger pin if i ever need to take the trigger out for any reason uh and then the revo sling definitely definitely enjoy those well that's it for now i'll try to get some video of it i just wanted to put it out there and and see We'll see what happens from there.